I did three years or spent three years on uh, Gene Roddenberry's Earth Final Conflict. There's an expression in the entertainment industry that content is king. And so when Rich came to me with this script, I realized like, oh, this is content. This is good content. This is um, passionate content. The basic concept of God Machine is that within nature, Mother Nature, there is a force that human beings can access to overcome trauma. And it's something that will initiate a person into sort of a bigger world, a bigger opportunity for that person to transcend the normal limitations that they have. The movies about salvation, redemption, forgiveness, you know, there's so many subtle messages in it. And also there's a lot of story and violence and sex, like slaves. <laughs> um. The whole story is that your darkness leads you to the light. It gives you a certain acknowledgement of the true reality of nature. And it's not about promoting violence. It's about what is violence? What is the psyche? What is sexuality? You know, what are those things really running on sometimes? And if you can remove the obstructions that are there, you can, you can purify yourself. It appears the God Machine seems to have a deep spiritual meaning. Did that resonate with you as an actor? Not at all. Not at all. How did you prepare for this role? I didn't. God Machine is trying to kind of pose an interesting question, and that is, what is consciousness? What is life? And I think that there's been a lot of debates in the AI world about what will be life. You know, some guys think it's computational power. Some guys think it's uh, uh, something else. I think it's that something else that we don't allow ourselves to accept yet. The project always appealed to me because of its its heart, its soul, its uh, its social consciousness, and its its spiritual spiritual reaching.